everybody, so Group D. In Group D we have at least three teams fighting to qualify. Those teams are Italy, England and Uruguay. And then we have Costa Rica that probably won't have any chances to go through. England's squad has a lot of good players. Players like Rooney that plays for Manchester United that is a very good centre forward. Sturridge that plays for Liverpool and had a terrific season. Also Steven Gerrard that is a centre midfielder that also plays for Liverpool also had a terrific season. But the problem with England is not having lack of good players. They have a lot of good players. Instead their problem is what they are going to do with them. England time and time again comes into big competitions with very good players and almost every time they end up disappointing, producing a very poor game with very little successes. Italy also has great names, like Mario Bolotelli that plays for AC Milan, is a very good center forward with a very strong shot but unfortunately with a really bad temper and a lot of times making childless plays. Andrea Pirlo is a defensive midfielder slash center midfielder that plays for Juventus, that has a really good vision, is really good with the ball, amazing pass and really good free kick skills. Another player is Verratti, he plays for PSG, is a center midfielder, a young player very good with the ball. And of course, Italy has one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Gianluigi Buffon. He plays for Juventus and is an amazing ball stopper. Costa Rica is clearly the team with the slimmest chances to pass. But if they are able to steal some points from one of the other teams, they will probably have a saying in which two teams of the three teams will pass to the next round. They don't really have star players, but we have to have in consideration that in the qualifying for this World Cup, they end up the qualifying in front of Mexico. So. We must not forget that. Finally we have Uruguay, they have at least two amazing players. One of them is Edison Cavani, he plays for PSG, is an amazing center forward, really good at scoring goals. And the other one is Luis Suarez, he plays for Liverpool, had an amazing season, he was the player with the most goals scored in the English Premier League this season. He has been injured and it's still unknown how he will be able to perform in this World Cup but he's a really really good player. Other than them Uruguay don't really has any more star players but as a team they're really good, really threatening and they have been having really good results in international competitions. So if England can step up their game to the level of the players that they have they will probably be able to pass this group. But if they don't, and a lot of times they haven't been able to do that, I don't know if they have what it takes. So if we have a bad England team, I think in this group of the group stage, it will be Italy in first, Uruguay in second, England in third, and Costa Rica will probably end last. So everybody, this is all I have to say about Group D. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with all your friends. My name is Bruno Ferreira, and I'll see you next time.